What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and this is a uh, pretty simple video. Actually uh, very soon I will have a video on KitKat for the HTC One, um, the Note 2 on how to update to 4.3 without getting the Knox bootloader, um, my CM11 review and my review of the Nexus 5. It, there's the Note 2 4.3 without Knox and a video for L O L O E N T. He's been bugging me for it, so I'm gonna do it soon on uh, enabling Wi-Fi tether on a rooted Galaxy Note 3 um, without not without the Knox being tripped. So no no flashing anything in recovery anything like that. So I've got a ton of videos on my plate to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this one out so I can get to those. So let's open this up, see what's in here, what it looks like, and. Um, these people make the Andrew USB chargers. I have the pink one that my wife won on their Facebook page. I have a green one and a black one that I purchased on Amazon. Here it is. Right there. Honey Drew. Just simple. One, two, three, four. You've got it. That's a nice packaging too for a little bit device. And then you've got the little, um, uh, how do you? I'm, I'm an idiot. The expandable cable here, so that's pretty cool. So, comes with, the, you know, just instructions. Nothing really important in here. Close that up. In here, you can see that it says eyes and flexible wings light up, micro USB cable included, high power output, two amps for phones and tablets. There it is, just a little bitty, little bitty guy right there. That's pretty cool. And you got the little charger. And that would pretty much be it. That's all you really get with it. And I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up in the car and freeze my butt off just to finish this last part of the video. All right, so I'm in my Suzuki here. I'm recording with my Note 3. So hopefully this isn't too bad. Gotta push the clutch in, put the key in, and just turn it once. Oh, it's doing well. Dang it. There we go. Turn the radio off. This thing needs um, the key to be in for anything to work. If you, nothing work, the outlet doesn't work without a key in it. So put the little charger in there. Oh, it's the other side. There we go, eyes light up. This little piece right here moves out. Take the little USB piece right here. Plug that in, and then you take this, and, sorry about this, alright, so that's upside down, right. yeah, it goes in upside down like that, alright, let me pause this, alright, so I plugged it in, and my phone says that it's charging, you can see the little thing twirling around, spinning up there. I know it's kind of shaking. It's a little cold out here. And the eyes are light up, lighting up. It's like a blue, so I'm going to unplug it. Okay, the eyes do not change whenever you plug something in or unplug it. See? We'll do this again. I'm going to lock it. Then I'm going to push down and get it in there. Okay, so the eyes don't change or do anything when you plug it in, which the Andrew USB chargers, uh, they go into the wall, the eyes would change and do different things. So I wish that this was like that, if I could get this darn thing unplugged. Yeah, it doesn't do anything different. Sorry about my mess down here. <laughs> but yeah. I'll have a link to this little guy on Amazon. It's pretty neat. It's, it's you know, it's cool. It's, it's, you know, it's just something different. It's nice. I like it. I like the little um, cable, so it's not like one of these crazy long, you know, cables. It's it's kind of short until you need it to be long. My lights are all on because my car is not running at the moment. I just have the key in so that the power gets to the thing. I'll show you. I'll show you. Look. I turn the key off. Nothing. 
no power goes to anything when the key's off, which sucks. So if you want to have your phone charging while you're at a doctor's appointment or something, you've got to have a little battery pack in here that has power stored in it to charge your phone. Because this thing does not get power unless you leave your key in the car. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.